The lead ship of the U.S. Navy's newest class of nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, departed from Norfolk, Virginia, on its first major deployment. The carrier's planned leaving date for Monday, October 3 was postponed the day before due to weather conditions. The carrier is scheduled to deploy next year in support of regional combatant commanders. USS Gerald R. Ford is conducting what the U.S. Navy calls a service-retained deployment, meaning it is operating by the authority of the Chief of Naval Operations under command and control of the U.S. Second Fleet, rather than under the command and control of a regional combatant commander under the Global Force Management Concept GFMC. Vice Admiral Daniel Dwyer, commander of the U.S. Second Fleet said that CSG-12, which the Ford carrier is leading, will range throughout the Atlantic Ocean operating with navies of allied and partner nations. The deployment would provide the Ford CSG commander a chance to test the carrier's air operability prior to embarking on its first global force management deployment next year. Units and aircraft from eight allied and partner nations will operate with the CSG-12 including assets from Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain and Sweden. The CSG includes 17 ships and one submarine. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group GRFCSG, deployment include Carrier Strike Group CSG-12, Carrier Air Wing 8, CVW-8, and Destroyer Squadron Desrin, 2. Deploying with the group will be Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser USS Normandy CG-60, the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyers USS Ramage DDG-61, USS McFall, DDG-74, and USS Thomas Hudner, DDG-116, the Legend-class National Security Cutter USCGC Hamilton, WMSL-753, the Henry J. Kaiser-class Fleet Replenishment Oiler USNS Joshua Humphreys, TIAO-188, and the Lewis and Clark-class Dry Cargo and Ammunition Ship USNS Robert E. Perry, TA-5. While deployed, the Ford CSG will conduct group steaming, air defense exercises, maritime domain awareness, long-range maritime strikes, distributed maritime operations, anti-submarine warfare exercises, as well as naval integration. All eight squadrons of Carrier Air Wing 8, comprising F-18E, F-Super Hornets, E-2D Advanced Hawkeyes and EA-18G Growlers along with MH-60 Sierra and MH-60 Seahawk helicopters, will be on board for the deployment but some will not be at full strength in terms of numbers of aircraft. It won't be the full complement, but it will be nearly the entire air wing. And that is not because of any lack of capacity aboard Ford, but only where the air wing is in the global force management process. We're still sizing the numbers, but it will be a fairly full air wing, but not the complete air wing. 